HitFirstBoxing.com. We in house with Leon Mark Lee's. First things first, man, congratulations. I mean, you had a hard fight, man, a great fight in yeah, Canada. Yeah. Andre Fafara for Adonis Stevenson. I mean, talk on that night of boxing. He, um, he proved he belonged with the top light heavyweights in the world. I think given a little more time, he will be the top light heavyweight in the world. If I remember, was it the eighth or the ninth round? He put him down. Ninth round. Ninth round. I mean, you know, right there, it was. You got to give Stevenson credit, though, because when he went to finish him off, Stevenson hit him with a straight left hand and kind of, he said, oh, he's still a little dangerous, you know, and he backed off. And, but, you know, he came on strong and he learned a lot in the fight. I think you'll see a much better and improved guy next time out. Now, what's next for Andre? Got to see. Got to see. We want to fight the top guys. Well, you're we here. Want fight, we want to fight the winner of Stevenson um, Hopkins. We, we, we want to fight Kovala. We want to fight the top guys. You're here right now, Mass Regard, Miguel Cotto, Sorge Martinez. Which, what brought you out here for the fight? I'm the lawyer for um, Lou DiBella, Samson Lukovic, and I work with Sergio. Whoa. That's why I'm here. So not only a promoter, I'm not only a promoter, I'm here as a lawyer. As a lawyer, look at this, man. Now, how you see the fight going down? Between Sergio. I like Sergio. I think he's too big, too strong, too fast, too skilled. Um, as long as his, his knees hold up and his body holds up because he's 39 years old. And he feels great. He's great in camp. I like Sergio. But I think, by style, I think it's a great fight. You know, Miguel's going to give it everything he's got. He's going to come to you all night long. And uh, you'll, see what, you'll see who can handle who, you know? I just seen an interview with Arthur Spielka where he said he won't be fighting. He, he had a proposition for June in Poland, then maybe an ESPN in August I wanted to bring him back in July in ESPN, but he's, he's working on some, some power and weight. And he says he's going to fight, I guess, in November. From what I've heard, and I don't directly speak to him, I speak through, his, through my partners, um, he's working on his weight, he's working on his power, um, and he's got a big, it looks like they're trying to do a big fight um, in November in his hometown. So. Um, we'll see. I, want, I, I wanted to give him a tuna fight in July in, in um, Chicago, but I guess he felt that he, he didn't want to do that right now. So, Andre from far, we'll go back to from far. Will he ever fight here in New York City? I certainly hope so. I think he'd blow the doors off this room in New York. I think it'd be great. I think in the next two years, he's going to be the top light heavyweight in the world. Warriors promotions, couple last words for your fans worldwide. What's coming up next for you guys? Speak on that note. Oh, we got Rancis Bartholomew. Hopefully, he'll hit him before the bell this time when he knocks out Mendez the second time. July 10th, Miami.